Yo, what is going on everybody? It's been a while since I've been back on this channel. So, a uh, little update on everything that's been going on. I just got this thing on new wheels, uh, custom headlights, you know, RGB all around and all that. And I got it bagged, of course. Um, I did all the work by myself, but obviously I had way too much stuff going on in my life that I was, uh, I don't know, I just didn't feel like recording. It's just those times where you get too busy in life and you're just like, man, I don't know, like if I want to record or not. And, you know, you just get carried on with all the stuff you got going on. So, yeah, I mean, as far as up, I'm going to try to start coming back on and, uh, you know, just start start recording again because it's been a minute. You guys be patient with me. But uh, today's video, we're going to be bagging that car today. And uh, another, another little update, as you can see. There's no more blue 350Z. It is now orange. Nah, I'm just kidding. I sold it though. I sold the other Z. Um, it's, it sucks, but you know, I I had to just get rid of it. I didn't want that car anymore for some reason. I just wanted to try something different. But in my mind, I did want to try something different. And then uh, I tried doing like a 370 and a G37 or something like that. And that just wasn't for me. I don't know. Um, I might still get end up getting one, but as of now, I copped another 350Z. So this is another one. This has uh, um, the, the rays from like the Nismo rays, kind of like that. Uh, it's the same style, just they're not the Nismos. I just bought it like literally two weeks ago and I haven't even driven it or like really even got to look at it that much. But he gave me a really good deal. So this is a really good opportunity for me to just take it make it look good fix everything that needs to be fixed and uh if i want to keep it i can keep it if not I, I can sell it you know so that's one of those things where you know um if you find a good deal take it because you never know when it's gonna come back so this is the homies g37 uh he's got uh, the admin tune he's got uh, basically everything on this thing full bolt on but you know uh, we're not going to talk about much about his performance mods but you know uh, he's he's kind of like straight pipe, but still making 311. He is pretty quick. So, uh, anyways, we're gonna be bagging his car today. This is how I did my trunk setup. It was super clean, super simple. Just ran all the wires. Ah, oh, shit! Don't look at that. Never mind. Don't look at that. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the stuff I did on this car into this G37 today. So make sure you guys stay tuned. <laughs> This used to be my old room, so that's why it kind of looks a little raggedy and the floor is a little different. So uh, we're, we got the AC going today. You know, we got the fans blowing. You know, it's not, you know, we're not under the sun or anything, but still, you know, we got to get at least some good air moving so we don't be too hot in here. And so, yeah, let's get to today. Let's rack this thing up and uh, put it on jack stands. guys i jumped ahead way too far but you know basically got the whole trunk uh out already got the whole interior kind of parted out uh got the wires ran and i can see all the interior out but basically you just take all the whatever side of the you're gonna run the harness at that, that side of the interior out so basically we're gonna be running it from the right side of the car so we took the right side of the interior out we got everything laid out it looks like a mess right now but trust me guys it's gonna be You'll, you'll see how everything goes. He's taking out the other suspension. Hopefully he ain't fucking it up. Oh shit. I got you, I got you, I got you. Ready? There you go. Yeah. 
it's gonna be running the lines, but again, that's not gonna be too hard of a job. It's gonna be a little bit more time consuming and complicated how we're gonna run it, so. All right, so the next step is to take out your spring bucket. You have this little uh, plate and this bolt that goes on there. Take it off, use this adapter plate to so go onto there, mark it up, and drill through these. There it is, guys, just like that. I started off small and then I used a, uh, a 25 by 64 bit to do the rest. You put that on there, you're gonna take it, these two bolts that are holding it, and you're gonna drill onto the top frame of the car. You can see it right there, up there. But yeah, we're gonna do that. All right guys, so we're at the point right now where we're drilling on the top one. You basically, you made a hole right on top of there like that. And like I said, the one on the bottom. And then they supply rivets on there so you can put on there like that. And you're gonna get a hammer and hammer it back in there. And you want it to be as flat as you uh, as it can be. So, so we got everything in already as far as the suspension. I already ran the lines and everything. I'll show you here. So basically, we got all the suspension in, ran all the lines down there, and then through the trunk. There's this uh, rubber piece on here. We just took out. Underneath it was a uh, like a shield. We took that off too. So we made it, we were able to access uh, the hole there. So yeah, make sure you guys, if you y'all are doing this on this car, y'all take off that plate first so you can access this hole right here. And then uh, that's the way we're doing it. You can do it different ways, but we're running it like that. All the wiring through the inside here and uh, so on forth through the firewall, getting all everything mounted up. All right, so we got everything back in already. Uh, we have everything kind of wired up and secured down here, but it's all like hidden back there. Uh, we got the, the line for the uh, water trap. I already started it up, make sure no leaks were happening. So this thing is ready to go. Hardest part. One of the hardest parts is getting this back part, uh, rear suspension in and getting all this mounted up. So um, this is for you guys to know if y'all are doing a trunk setup. Make sure y'all get it done right, cause it's gonna be a pain in the ass when you try to do it by yourself. Oh, what the fuck? You done over torqued those motherfuckers. Oh, what the fuck? All right guys, all that's what's left now is calibrating, which we're doing right now. It's sitting super high right now, but hey, at least it's all working, no leaks, nothing. My boy is tucking, tucking. Yeah. Woo. That's what we want. What the fuck? Oh, shit. My boy is static. <laughs> what the fuck? Go, guys. You got it right there. Got the two bagged infinities right here. Uh, again, super clean fitment right now. This is he has it on his on his low setting, and I'm all the way aired out. Dang, that's all aired out. Boy, dang, it's thirsty. the house of vqs out here the end product of his uh trunk setup super clean super simple the infinity first aid kit that shit was, sets it off <laughs> damn damn so there it is guys finally got the, the g37 bagged this one's bagged now that one's gonna be bagged soon so uh y'all y'all stay tuned when this one gets bagged because uh yeah I mean, like I said, guys, the only thing to getting back, make sure. What the fuck is that? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, before y'all get y'all's bags done, make sure y'all do it professionally because it is going to make a difference whether who does it, you know. Uh, but yeah, guys, 
Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch you on the next one.